more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. I right, top billing. Loving this Seahawks draft. Make sure you go back and check out my content I did on Charles Cross, who is the left tackle of the future. And the right tackle of the future also came in this same draft, and that is one Abraham Lucas from Washington State. And you know me. I'm a stickler for competition. I want to see you against what I consider a 10 out of 10 as far as competition factor goes. And I happen to have this right here. My man going against Kayvon the Decepticon. This is as in his fell as it gets because Kayvon the Decepticon is a damn animal. And my man Abraham Lucas absolutely manhandled this cat. No doubt about that, man. It was a great battle. Don't get me wrong. You're not going to obviously just dominate a Kayvon Thibodeau, but he was pretty much close to doing so. I uh, will run this one right here. You can check and see. Oh, watch him sink the mud hooks in. Right? This was much of the same. One more game right here before we slow it down. Oh. What I like about Lucas is his patience. All right, you can tell he understands the game. Obviously, if you look at this right here, first and foremost, if you're trying to be widened out to the nines like Kayvon Thibodeau, if you can see these extra, these extra large splits here, extra wide splits, that means he's way far away. So this is going to challenge your explosiveness as a pass rusher. And it, it exposes your ability to be patient as well if you're a pass protector. So Kayvon coming off right here out of that three-point stance, you can see right here, giving him something to think about, right? Giving him something he can feel like in Vogue coming up here. He's first with the hands, but the patience of Lucas, not too far over his skis, right? Bending at the knees, he lets it and meets the inertia. He meets the inertia, lets Kayvon kind of get the upper hand at the beginning just so he can seek those mud hooks in. Imagine it like this. I love pushing cars for a workout, right? My first few pushes are nothing like the the next however many pushes, right? But you let somebody really expend that energy coming off like that, you just make sure your hand placement is great, right? So he's on the inside with it. Kayvon starts to drive. He sinks those mud hooks in and it's done. Kayvon looking for an exit plan, right? He's trying to climb the pocket with the quarterback or anything like that. Nothing to it but to do it. And these guys went at it for about 40 reps. Now, remember, Kayvon the Decepticon is the shit. But, man, in some of these reps right here, he may as well pulled out a Snickers. <laughs> he wasn't going anywhere for a while. Come on, man. Look at this. He tries to angle off of him, and you can see right here, Lucas's ability to sink those mud hooks in. And I love the foot energy right here. I want you to notice the, the feet, right? You see that feet firing right there? The choppy feet, that allows him to continue to get his feet up under him instead of trying to take gigantic steps to anchor down. He's keeping that foot firing and feet firing like that. And Kayvon doing his best. You can see right there, man, he's got a complete 90-degree angle trying to drive this, drive, drive this man like Miss Daisy, but it ain't happening. Look at that, not going nowhere. And this shit kept happening over and over. Here's another one. Nothing. <laughs> right? Another man making a man do the tango. <laughs> right? Come on. This shit hard. Look at that. Kayvon trying. He's almost like Dragonfly Jones. Like that Martin character Dragonfly Jones. <laughs> Let's go, punk. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> come here, punk. <laughs> come here, punk. <laughs> Yo, Kayvon was having a tough time with this one, man. I love this rep right here because we get a chance to see that man work against Kayvon's speed package here. You're going to see Kayvon trying to run the arc on him. And he does a good job with both his kick step phase and his distance management. You see that right there? He understood exactly when to get out of that kick step. Kayvon was looking like he's about to turn the corner on him. Let's see it. Let's let's get out. We can get, get a real good glimpse at it right here. All right. Nice initial kick right there. Nice base width. Keeping it tight to the vest there. Look, no hand-to-hand -hand combat yet. 
right? So it's a long way out, long way out until they really get to the friction part of it there. And Kayvon get, does a good job of not even having that man put his arms up, right? Because he kind of slow played it as far as the hand fighting process goes. And we see him right here. My man kind of pulled a ripcord on it, got down the line of scrimmage and was able to push him out the play. Kayvon real close, but no cigar. Extremely close, but doesn't even get a chance to really engage because he's getting pushed off the landmark there. Excellent recovery by Abe Lucas. Ran Kayvon Thibodeau to, to the concession stand. One more game. Ooh, that's a scary rep to be going that amount of time with no hand fighting action with a guy like Kayvon Thibodeau, who is a freak athlete. If you haven't already, consider donating to the channel. They have this thanks button now. You can hit this bad boy right here. You can contribute anything you'd like from $2 to $50. Make sure you hit that $50 thanks. No doubt about that, you Seattle fans, because you know I bring it each and every time there. You hit that buy and send, and it brings you right here. Put your credit card in or however you do your Google Pay, and we in there like swimwear, baby. Let's get back to it. While Kayvon did have zero sacks against Abe Lucas, I don't believe he had a sack in this game. He got real close on this particular rep right here. But if you see, they tried to pull the okie doke on my man. You can see him right now going against a six technique. So you would think that's his original assignment, right? Nope, you got Kayvon Thibodeau coming from off the bench, damn near. <laughs> he came from out the stands way over here to try to run this arc on Abe Lucas, and that was about the best success that he had as far as getting to the passer. We'll see it here. Oh, shows you how great Kayvon Thibodeau is, though. You can see the bendability in that guy and the ability to look at that. Because think about how far he had to come out now. Now that you can see Kayvon, that's a lot of distance once again. They have to wait to the hands. By the time he gets the hands up there, Kayvon already on the dip and rip going on right there. So he tries to push him out the way or push him off the play. This time, the quarterback with much more of a deeper drop. He's unable to recover right there, and Kayvon does get a hand on him. This time, he is able to engage, but the quarterback slips it. So it was almost a faux pas there, but you can't expect to be perfect going against a guy like Kayvon Thibodeau. That's why I look at competitive reps face over going against somebody from North-South Tire Rotation University. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Going against Kayvon Thibodeau rep after rep, you're bound to mess up. That's just the nature of the beast right there because the guy is that good. There are any legitimate criticisms that I had against Lucas going against Kayvon. It would be in the run game. Now, you see Kayvon actually over here. You get a cross formation where they're going to pull pretty much the tackle on this play with a cross formation block against Kayvon. He ends up making the tackle on his own play here, and I'm not sure if – Lucas couldn't bend good enough or something like that, but he wasn't very competitive in this rep right there. Oh, down goes Lucas, <laughs> right? Kayvon with a two-car pile up here. He chops off the block, goes down low, right? Trips up Lucas, uh, makes him jackhammer himself and tackles the ball carry all at the same time there. That's just one example. Check this one out. On this run play, you're going to see Kayvon immediately – keep contained this way and it, the thing about Washington State is a lot of their run blocking is pass blocking so it's like you're halfway engaged between both but sometimes I believe that Lucas prematurely disengages right he, a premature evaluator right can't be a preemie and disengage too quickly if you see right here now this might not be a good example of that right there but you can see Kayvon make the tackle I feel like he kind of was like all right let me just go ahead and push off right there and let him go. I feel like when you got him at this particular point in time, it started to trying to work and correct this, right? You want to correct this angle here and kind of, if you're knowing that it's coming to your gap, you want to swing. Let me get it right here. You want to swing that foot around this way, kind of hinge it off, and then that way you're between the man and the ball carrier. And then you can just drive Miss Daisy on that ass, right? Paul. But – no bueno there, and he ends up getting a tackle. All right, check out this run rep right here. You got Thibodeau doing a great job of working inside out and walling the discarding on Abe Lucas here. I would like to see Abe come off, get into that chest, 
and start driving. This is almost like he meets this almost like a pass rush. He needs to start driving, driving those legs, angling off, and being aware of his surroundings. One more time, full speed. Uh, nah. A little bit of a lackadaisical approach. Luckily, Thibodeau didn't get the tackle on that one. Now, Thibodeau's over here. I want you to notice the difference between this left tackle and Lucas. You'll get Thibodeau, just because this guy oversets, Thibodeau's able to break it to the inside. This guy looks like he was afraid of getting beat with pure athleticism, so he oversets and allows a clear path to victory on the inside. You won't get that with Lucas because of his patience with his upper and lower body. Check that out. That was hard. Thibodeau hitting with the crossover step, hesitated him, and my man was already pulled. He immediately pulled the ripcord because he was afraid. Pulled the ripcord, abandoned his technique, standing tall and talented in the pocket like he's a quarterback or some shit like that, and then has to reach with one hand. If you reach, he'll teach you. So you can see why patience does work for a guy like Abe Lucas, not to mention his sheer size. So it looks like Lucas's patience makes Kayvon Thibodeau a little bit hesitant to try any different moves. You see right there? He keeps trying to bully him. It's just not working. All right, if he started to overset, you notice Thibodeau's ability to chain moves together or to just think on the fly like he did in this last rep here. But you can see no oversetting here. He's really chaining off or walling off that inside and forcing Thibodeau to either go outside or go through him. And of course, with his hands down and being patient, it's almost like drawing Thibodeau in. But even with his hands down, you can see how quickly he gets them up and gets on the inside of Thibodeau. And while Thibodeau, first couple of steps is money, when the anchors drop, right, you can dock that boat. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right term. <laughs> you don't know nothing about no boats. <laughs> that motor boats. If you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I love this rep right here. This time he meets the inertia. And uh, I like that right there. So this time, instead of being patient, you can see him get out and decrease the space. And then it's a more Dragonfly Jones moment. You can see him get all up in his grill, too. <laughs> Kayvon Thibodeau was like, come here, punk. <laughs> come here, punk. Nope. Nothing. Loving it. Love watching two elite premium cats go at it, man. Pause. So remember, this is just one game against an elite prospect. I just want to kind of start a series where I focus in on just elite competition. Instead of people piling up stats against guys that we know won't be playing in the NFL or aren't NFL material, I like to kind of focus in on that. So you had to say that man had the upper hand on Kayvon Thibodeau. Thibodeau still had a pretty decent game, but nothing really against Abe Lucas there. So Abe Lucas showing his prowess, but he had – Obviously, other reps against other guys, like you see him going against Mace Funa right here and pretty much dominating him, right? Funa tried to kind of slow play it, but you can see in the kitchen work stage here being a little bit more active when I believe he does it. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's a neck jerking spine buster, <laughs> right? Funa might have to be using the colostomy bag after this one right here. But you get what I'm saying there, man. I just want to focus in on the league competition. I have plenty more reps as well, but you guys get the point on this. So uh, Abe Lucas, definitely somebody I'm keeping an eye on. I want to see that revamp Seattle Seahawks offensive line. And they may have drafted the cornerstones, right, the pillars, or uh, both their exterior tackles in the same draft for the next 10 years or so. So that could be pretty cool, all right? But it's your boy Murph, the Underground King. Thank you as always. And make sure you hit that thanks button, tip your waiter, hit that cash app and all that jazz as well. With that being said, I am out. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.